Come on, beastie, you little charger. Are you trying to find new research or something? something? Yeah, I'm just trying to get some. Data shows this as a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. So there you go. Hang on, pups don't build too much because it's a uh, temporary. Trying to figure oh. out where to put things. Yeah, I wasn't building, I just chopped the trees down. Okay. Got myself a chainsaw. I need one of these in real life. Hmm. Isn't that bug so I don't use the thing with stackables? I can't remember the mod. Uh, I think so. As it crashes the game. Or can. Civil engineering project, this. <laughs> oh, it doesn't quite reach, you scum. That's the problem, is you can't. There's no visual clue of how yeah. long a belt can go when you're actually constructing these vertical poles. Tier tech are we at? Um, are we at something three or four? Three, four. 
Is that triggering having those at different heights? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so leave it. I could vertically stack the belts for the trip, floating fat man. Part of me is just expanding for the future, though, because that this is a factory down here. I mean, I could just vertically stack and come in on three lines, but then I'd have to twist and go horizontal at the end, which, you know, is fine. But I can't, yeah, I, I know it's fewer resources, but I don't know. I just fancied doing it that way. I love how you corrected him, Paul. Subtle. <laughs> Wasn't in your face. I just think three belts going across the map looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. I was going to put a foundation under them. But even that's going to look a bit weird. Dude, get out my base! Put that one next to that one like you can with no that No idea. One. That's just dumb. That's even more triggering. What happens if you build an extra foundation? Do you reckon it will work? Like if you put one to the left? It's going to do it that way. There we go. That'll do. Oh yeah, I wanted one in the distance. I didn't want one here. <laughs> Definitely didn't want one right next to me. Is that first one the right height? I don't know yet. Let's have a look. I need to go up here. Conveyor belt is too long. Oh, you see, it's just... You can't win, mate. You can't win. Uh, hang on, I can give you a rough guide. We're about three metres short. Tell you what, I'll figure this part out, Paul. You carry on down the line. I mean, how are you supposed to know how long the belt can go? So it's three meters off? Yeah. If you put the thing on, you'll be able to see as well. So it's probably like that would work, maybe. Yeah, if you put it on the front of that one, I reckon that would work. If you put one down, we might be able to, like, just a single one. We might be able to test it without you building the whole thing. We'll have to get rid of this one anyway. I think. Yeah, that works there, where you are now. Right, let's get the height correct. Let's see if that connects to the next one now. Hey, Hannah. What's he broken? With a chainsaw, plenty of things. Hey, Hannah. Mate, it's not ready yet. I just said. I was just seeing if it would fit still. <laughs> I don't think this one's going to stretch now. Yep, belt's too long.
Presumably that goes to there. Then yours can go to that one, right? Oh. No, you've gone the wrong way, pups. It's coming from the smelter to the factory. Oh, I swear that's the way I just did it. No, I just saw it. Well, I saw it build towards me, so. That can go seven tiles, but that doesn't help here when you've got no foundations. Hmm. Hope we'll get a visual mark for them. I agree. It's annoying not having that. You got any rods on you, pups? Grabbing some now. Because I'm out of them as well. You got a big boy, Paul. No, oh, he's now a big piece of bacon. <laughs> Good job you had your basher rather than your zapper. <laughs> oh, yeah. He would have been a lot more of a handful with a, a Xeno bashy thing. Uh, I don't know where he came from. Boom, come in. I don't think he was guarding anything. I think he was in that poison cloud area and he just basically aggroed on me because I got near it. He was in that lot though. Almost there. Yep. thing about the mouse wheel scrolling through your inventory in your hand is that you can't scroll through the items on your hotbar. 
I keep looking down at the hotbar and just I'm using the mouse wheel <laughs> to scroll through them and I can't. Uh oh, Mount Vine plates. Uh, I, f I can finish this stack going up if you want. Oh, and I can give you iron plates. No, I'll just go get some because I can't build anything. I've got 800 on me, so would you like some? Please. Uh, let me jump in. That's why there's none in storage, because Pops has got them all then. <laughs> he just went back, control clicked everything and ran off. Yep. Now you definitely put the belt the right way, Pops, yeah? Yep. That looks so that funny, looks just so hanging. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging down. Oh, I'm triggered. Are you? Yeah, this end one's not the same height as the other two. What end one? This elevator where I'm stood. Coming out the furnaces. Oh. That's really weird, because the Anglo stood out. It looked okay. Yeah, that won't do. Right, I think we're ready to turn that on. It's just mining the... Well, yeah, we've got to there. feed it. <laughs> we're not feeding it because all the iron's basically going into our stuff at the moment. Actually, there's yeah. one miner that's not being used. We could use that initially. Okay. Miner here, not used. Okay. So we'll throw that straight in. Now, what should power consumption go off the charts? Probably. Actually, we're only turning on like four or something. Yeah, it should be a Mark II belt, really. Right, Pops, you ready? Yeah. Let's see if the beast works. I've turned on an extra generator. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh my god, it's slow. Yeah. Okay, that is slow. <laughs> it's a level one belt. We're, we're making reinforced um, belts of like one machine. So we're just letting it accumulate and then we'll upgrade it. But 
for now we'll just see if it's even working. This could take a while. Yeah. <laughs> You think, like when you say clap, you'd think there'd be some yeah. variation in it. Like sometimes it go, sometimes it go, sometimes it go. Just anything. power line up the ramp. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. I'm so proud of that. It's very nice. I just love those power line connectors. I think they're just so much yep. better than having power poles everywhere. But running it down there looks nice. Well, I thought it was the easiest way because you've already got the ramp there. <laughs> so I might as well just make the use of it. It could take a while, Paul. should be... I thought it would have been there by now. There it is. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alex said I should. Well, I haven't got any more healing things, so <laughs> I thought you might be low as well. Yeah, I'm on like half health. Exactly. Oh, there it goes. I swear that look, looking at this, the lift feels a lot faster than the conveyor belt does. It's weird. Are these all turned on and connected? They're, all the power is on. Turned on an extra furnace as well before I came up here, just in case it's... <laughs> it's at the top! Oh, it's come on the top one, isn't it? Yeah! No, that's the worst one to go down, because it's not connected. Um, <laughs> hang on, I can disconnect... No, wait. Um, uh, don't worry about it. We'll just... Okay. Well, it's all right, we'll just carry on. I'll fill the um, rest Paul, of this out. Am what? I seeing things, or has it stopped? Is what stopped? Uh, come outside. Where are you? There's another conveyor belt, or am I seeing things? Down the bottom. Uh, that's weird. That That's very weird. I'm going to investigate. It must be off or something. I didn't see this. It's probably on standby, that's what it is. I was going to say, I did. That's annoying. Oh, it is on standby. It's back on! Yay! You have to wait five minutes, Rich. Come back over now. I'm grateful to notice that a long time ago. <laughs> yep. There's a wall thing here across here, Paul. The what? The wall mount one. I know. Tommy's very quiet. Yep. I think he's eating. 
under the guise of exploration. <laughs> See, he's eating, he can't talk. He's just pinging. <sighs> Wait, what have you been making over here? What? Um, well, look. Oh, he's been I... busy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I ah, didn't ah, even ah, notice. There we go. Oh, what's Sammy been doing? He's been quiet. Yeah, <laughs> all right then. I'm all like, right. I turn around, I'm like, where did this all come from? <laughs> We all thought you were still exploring. You never said you came back. I'm guessing that's back. just I've for the shop thing. All the uh, pardon. I'm guessing that's just for like the token thing. This is Caterium yeah. and Quickwire. So I'm making a load of Quickwire at the okay. moment to get the Blade Runners and the Smart Splitters and the Mark II poles. Um, I've been back. I've chucked everything in the inventory for the biomass. So Pups has got now more fuel to throw in there. Um, I've done some other stuff, and now I'm up here just waiting for this to chunder so I can get the next bit done. I wish we knew that miner wasn't turned on, Paul. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. There's nothing for it to go to anyway, so... Well, there just happened to be a Kateria mine right here. Pure one as well, so 120 a minute with a Mark 1 liner. Got a glass foundation on top of the lift shaft. We haven't got glass yet, I don't think. And I can't make this fully optimised because the Caterium is needed at 45 a minute, and obviously the belt will only do 120 a minute, so. But it's not bad, it's like 96% efficient or something. This smelter says it's running a... Oh, there you go. It went from 5% to 99%. Yeah. <laughs> like what? It needs something... It's something like, as you look at it, it needs like six cycles to give you a correct output or some, some nonsense. I don't know. Okay, well at least the iron's moving. Yep. So we're going to have three belts coming in of iron. Initially at 60 a minute, but there'll be 120 at some point. So the next question is then, what do we want to do in this factory with all that stuff? We need iron plate, plates, iron rods. I think we have enough power over here, do we? Yeah, we do. We do. I'm already ahead of you. Well, it's not connected nicely. But it's on top of the ramp at the moment. Hang on, I'm on my way. Hang on. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's not connected. It is. I it's like got... ran all the way up the <laughs> ramp. I didn't know where Paul was going to put his walls. Wait, what? You're in charge of the base building. Am I? There you go. One socket there. Okay, which fixer engineer has built a random container and thrown a load of rubbish in it? Don't know what you're on about. Oh, that'd be you then, would it, Pups? <laughs> I needed it. We needed rods again. I ran out of storage space. So rather than throwing it all in the awesome sink and being useful, you just decide to throw yeah. it on the map. That's fine. Can't get the staff pubs. That 
to your liking, pups, Mr. Electrician. Yep. A great electrician, me. Just thinking about it, we're not strictly speaking on a wall, though. Because we've got plenty of space, just need to get rid of some trees. Yeah. Right, so, um, we need first, we need plates or something. I mean, I am, I guess. So, in here, we could make iron plate, iron rod, screw, and reinforced plate. Like, yeah. That's everything directly related to iron ingots. At the moment, yeah. What do you mean at the moment? Well, it's probably more the more you unlock. Well, there might be... I don't know. Reinforced iron plate is a big problem, isn't it? Yeah. I'm thinking we've got three belts, so we have a oh, modular frames. Oh yeah, modular, we could do modular frames are assembled from that stuff. Yeah, what we could do as well, Paul, is turn that into like um, plates and rods, and then have them go into storage, and then take it out of storage to like whatever needs making, like frames or whatever. Well, I'm just kind of thinking we do all the irony stuff in here, but we need okay, to keep it expandable. Yeah. Uh, Night Hello. Gaming, thank you for dropping five subs and gifting a sub to Kid Kidswid, Kidswid, I think his name is. Thank you for the gift, gifted subs, and if you got one, please give him a thank you, guys. Appreciate the support. Uh, Robo Joe, thanks for 11 months. Use the entire output for fully overclock normal line. No, no, just to make screws. They're so essential. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, but with screws, you need to build the rods, so... Blade Runners. New equipment unlocked. At some point, we're going to have to bring in more iron ingots into yep. this factory, right? So we need to make sure. Like, if we have a line smelting iron plates, we need to make sure we can carry on building it later. Yeah. And same with, like, the screws and everything else. We can keep scaling. Yeah, yeah. We're just adding more machines, effectively. So we get our ratio right and then just keep adding. Also, to help, we could build a watchtower up here to help plan it out so you'd know how big the gaps are. Yeah, maybe um, like the somewhere might be useful. Yeah. I wonder if it would go up this high. Oh, you could just build it in here. Chuck it in here. <laughs> and then at least when we're laying stuff out, you can see the distance. Smart way to use merge and split is going up. We can scale upwards or we can scale horizontally. It, it doesn't matter. Like we've got space. Paul and Pups, where are you? Uh, over here.
Is it just me or can I hear like dogs or something that are angry? Yeah. Right, you can, I think they're underneath you. I thought they were chasing you. <laughs> no, I'm up here with you. I see him. He's dead. Oh, there's one chasing up the ramp. It's dead. Okay. Pops and Paul. Uh, I'm here. I'm just with Pops. Right? Oh, I've got some Blade Runners. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ooh, like ski oh, boots. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Seeing you slide and jump then was amazing, Paul. Was it? <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> But Sonny's not doing anything, he's away eating. Hey, we've been doing stuff. I'm gonna have to build a power pole just so I can see what the electric's doing. I need to go and turn another generator on, I'll be right back. Right. Yes, Tam, exactly. I think I'm not doing anything. Well, to be fair, no, in our defence, you didn't say you was back. That's true. And he went and very quiet was, for ages, yeah. so we made huge assumptions, but they were kind of qualified. <laughs> Justifying your own existence. On the bus, Hannah. It's like you're watching on your phone on the bus or something. I'm trying to think which direction to build out these smelters. Well, construction things. Floors are the same mats. Mats will keep it clean. Let's go online. Upgrading belts would not be that hard. What? So you, are you, you're basically saying like an entire floor that does iron plate, and then next floor you would do rods, and the next floor you would do screws from the rods, or would you do screws in the same floor as rods? Because rods kind of an intermediary product, although you do need rods for other things. I, I generally do a rod of plates, a, a rod of plates, a floor of plates, a floor of rods, and then a floor of screws, where it obviously makes rods and screws on the same floor. I remember doing that in the past, and it, I remember getting stuck with scale, but I don't know. If we're doing that way, we'd, we'd use one belt here. And, the, and like the other belts would go up a floor or two. Yeah, and then we still need to make it so we can add more belts if we need to.
So would that be the next floor there then? Yep. So how do we get... Are you, in, are you only doing constructors on that floor? Well, we'd just be making plates on this floor, wouldn't we? Yeah, so you're only using the constructor because I think the smelters are three or four floors, three or four walls high. I've got three, I don't know, let me have a look. I'll build one. I generally do four, four for a, a standard floor. I think four is probably a safer bet. Because if you put some, I don't think you're going to, but if you put smelters on that floor, the smoke will come through the floor like I know you've had before. Yeah. Um, question, have we unlocked stairs and ladders to get up to the next floor? We didn't buy the ladders, I don't think, but we can build a ramp. It's not convenient, but yeah. Yeah, we don't even have a set of stairs. You might want to spend some tiger tokens then. You have to do that. How many tiger tokens have we got now? No idea. So how do we get that belt to go up a floor then? Elevator? Yeah, but you you elevate up to the inside again, so do you have to put another one on the other side, I presume? Well, if you put another three stack on the one above that one, you could then do a double back of that belt to just literally flip it from one side to the other and then yeah. do a lift from the other side of the new wall That's up was... again to go in. Yeah. Which it is what I was janky, thinking. But... That's the wrong way. Then obviously if you place a wall and then another one, it'll work out, won't it? And just be sure to place them in the order that you want it to go and not the wrong way around. Mark two poles, baby. Mark two poles. I really wish that when you put a wall down, they'd make a visual clue much clearer yeah. what was in and what was out. Or what was A, what was B. Just any, just make it really obvious. Yeah. They fixed it so smelter's smoke doesn't go through the floors now. Interesting. Pups, are you with Paul? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you both will need a coil of this. You don't want it on that floor. Please. Ain't that the floor? No, because that's literally oh, no, the floor one level. Yeah, yeah. One above it. What's that for? That's so you can make mark two power poles. Nice. So if you want the wall wall thing, you'll need to unlock that in the awesome sink. I think that's right around. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sam. It's the middle one going up, right, Paul? Or both? Uh, just the middle one, because that's okay. going to be another floor. And the third one, we go up to the third floor. Is what would happen. Although what you... Oh, actually, they can go any height, can't they? Yeah. I think that's right. <laughs> Getting up to that floor is another matter. Let's just worry about this floor. I've got a plan to get up there for now. Climb up this and jump off. <laughs> can't fool me, game. Oh. What? I put an extra floor piece in, and you, when you was deleting stuff, it deleted the floor piece. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh, how many constructors can we make? Uh, mm, just... I can Hang make on. six. <laughs> Let me see if I can make some. I can make none. Reinforced iron plate. And cable. direction do we want it to go in and out? That's the question. Um, 
facing, yeah, that way, I would say. Because then we can always build outwards. One like that. Ooh, shiny floor. You're gonna need a lot of concrete. Uh, where are you? Next team. A I'll, go and grab warehouse, some... you? I'll go and grab some more. Actually, I might put a storage container up here for a minute, Paul, and just bring up some plates and rods and stuff and concrete. Right. Just stick it in a container because we're going to be up here a lot, ain't we? I might put it next to the workbench. It's hard to build out like that when you don't have all the BP. I don't understand. Ain't that garage, BP? <laughs> How much space do you leave between constructors? Maybe like two, like that. You can get down the side of them, I suppose. Yeah. So we need concrete over there. I guess we, you're going to need iron plates and rods. It's like 30 a minute. So at the moment we can't feed more than two of these things. The maximum we can yeah. feed is four from one belt anyway. And they're the wrong way around. There's 160 reinforced iron plate in stock now. Not a lot when you can drag it out and take 50 a time, is it? How much reinforced plate? 160. Would you like it? <laughs> well, it starts with the miner back there. If you can like boost the miner, yeah. see how far you get with it. Okay, let me run this stuff up to you that you're going to need, and then I'll do that. I've got concrete, plate, and rods, and I'm going to stick it in the chest for you. Did you want the concrete to put another floor on, Paul, or was the concrete for something else? Uh, it was for another floor, I guess. We'll have to ramp up to it for now. Why well, were you thinking? Nothing. I was just going to bring you a load of concrete, but if you just need Already a floor putting in. I think Pups has brought some... Uh, Lurk in the container. Put, some, put a box down for me. What powers the power line? Um, so at the moment, our power is coming from biomass, which is generated down there, and then it's routed via electric cable. Any idea how big you made the floor? No. Four walls high. No, as in the floor space. Oh. 
no. big. That's all we can say. So it's eleven by something. Can I just turn this ramp around and then it's you can come up the main ramp and turn and go up the other ramp rather than have to run off. Isn't there a ramp out? I thought you come up the main ramp and you can go immediately oh, right. Some, oh, his pups just mm, ignore yeah, me. We, I, I had to put that there when we was doing the other wall. So I could see. This second floor is almost as high as our watchtower. <laughs> Are you using the hole in the floor at the moment, Paul? Uh, what hole in what floor? I didn't want to put the floor in if you were still using the floor above where you then were. Right, so... Paul, I've done a hundred and uh, 120. I've done Mark II belts right up into the splitter thing. I'm guessing they're fine just being conveyor belt one. So, where does it go up to? The Mark II? Uh, all the way up to the splitter. Where it splits and then splits again into. All oh, right, so it's, so the so all the things are going to get fed properly now. Yeah. So then the only problem then is the collected output. So after the very fa the very last merge, from yep. there all the way to this factory needs to be. Okay. But I don't think you'll have enough. I can start it. I can try. Thirty outputs twenty. Interesting. I'll finish soon, Flock Batman. We're we'll, uh, just want to finish this bit off. One set. Uh, how does the mass build its foundations work? Oh yeah, it's a mod. Yeah, it's not. It's not in the base game, annoyingly. So where are these plates going then? Do you think? Perhaps well, we can just store them for now, but yeah. We've got to want them to go somewhere at some point. Yeah. 
So the what did you get the mark to up to, pups? Uh, here, where ping is. So not all right. Okay, so quite a way to go. Yeah. Fair enough. It did more than I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> no. Hey, Paul, can you just buy a a foundation piece for me? Yeah. Here's the awesome shop. The tickets are in the storage. Can I have the Foundations expansion pack? Pops, do you want to just power that up? Yeah, you... Where's the tickets? That container. Uh, foundation expansion pack, the one with the yeah, the metal frame foundation one. on it. Yeah. Tickets back in storage. Like, slowly getting to the point now where we're starting to make a factory, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> like, starting to slowly move away from the original stuff. This constructor's not really have a sound bite. Oh, there we go. We were running a bit silent then. Yeah, this is inefficient until the belt bringing it in is Mark II pups. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some more to be made and then I'll update. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's on the list. Yeah. Once that's marked to, it'll run efficiently. So where's the glass going, put Sammy? I was just going to place the centre and see if you notice the light difference. Well, you can make glass from concrete now. Wow. Technology, eh? Well, glass is crushed sand, concrete is processed sand. What's the difference? <laughs> Quite a lot. Isn't... Wait. Concrete... Concrete's a mix of stuff. Yep. Involving cement, which has to be baked at high temperatures. And sand, I think. And stone for concrete. When you first get to coal, it's a nightmare. Uh, so I've heard they made it a nightmare now. Oh god, that looks so weird. Oh, there you go. How's the light? <clears throat> Is that meant to be a window? There's a gap in it. You need some uh, sealants around the edges, though. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. It's better though, it's actually good of actually having some light. Yep. Um, so it's 20 by 7, that glass bit. The other bit is 11 by 24. Um, the one thing is that there's like an iron girder in the middle of the glass section. When you place it, if you can try and obviously make sure that the floor above this has the beam going the same way. Otherwise, by the time you get to this floor, the glass crosses, like go against what you're doing with the glass foundation but if you line them all up then they're yeah i wish i understood that I i'm glad <laughs> <laughs> anyway boys it's gone six so we'll have to yep leave right. it there. thank you for playing no thank you all thanks for the invite all right guys i'm gonna have to head out i've got a uh, a meeting to get to so uh i shall be back tomorrow Back tomorrow at 3 p.m. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to try 3 till 9 instead of 2 till 8 and see how we get on with that. A board meeting, yeah. A Zoom meeting. A Zoom. So I'll be back tomorrow at 3. So have a great rest of your day. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you had some fun. And I'll be back tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.